So this was my grocery pickup um, for this week. Um, I have been really, really trying to stay healthy over the past month or so, and that I think has been, hi buddy, attributed to a huge part of my weight loss. I have lost 20, um, 24 pounds in the last well, almost four weeks. Um, so I'm kind of hitting a plateau right now, but I know a lot of it's we haven't felt good the last little bit, and even though I'm eating healthy, it's just kind of been off a little bit. So anyways, this is my groceries for this week. Um, I changed a lot of things. I've been listening to the book uh, Eat to Live, and um, so I, I've really taken a lot of raisins, a lot of different aspects of diets that I've done over the years and kind of made up my own thing of what I think works, but he's super grumpy right now. So one thing, like this week I'm making beet hummus. I'm really excited to try it. Um, I still try to shy away from a lot of sugars, but a lot of my snacks in here are super good. I Almost everything I bought this week was from um, the produce section, which was completely different for me. But I did add in a lot of this week, like flaxseed. I bought in, or um, added in a lot of beans because that's part of having a better diet. And lots of mushrooms, onions are a big one for this week. I grew out a lot of stuff to create my own salad bar. Um, but lots of beans and nuts and kind of um, more nutrient rich and nutrient dense items. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll show you some more, and I'm kind of, honey, hold on, go sit at the table and I'll get your food. So, um, I'll kind of show you some more of what I make this week. I'm kind of waiting to do, um, a big, a, a big thing about my weight loss, um, for when I actually lose the rest of my weight. I'm... Goodness, I'm three pounds away from hitting my goal. Three pounds. So as soon as I hit that three pounds, I'm going to go, that's going to be like an in-depth vlog of how I lost my weight. Uh, but this is kind of just my groceries for this week, and this is a little bit different because I did add in a lot more things. So I'll let you know more as I know more. Thanks. So I think one of the biggest killer things on any type of diet, I don't want to say I'm on a diet. I'm not on a diet. I did a life change. Um, I didn't do a quick fix. I did something because I knew my life needed to have something changed about it. So it wasn't a quick fix. It wasn't a diet. But when you change what used to be a habit, you have to make some dramatic changes. So I think one of the easiest things is having easy to go things, which I'm going to prep a lot of these things, but I wanted to show you my fridge and what it looks like when it's filled with pantry and pretty things from the that one place, oh, that's what happens when you sit here, you just make up words. The place that has all the fruits and vegetables in the store. Oh, I'm going to be made fun of for this. Anyway, so this is what my fridge looks like when it's completely packed with, uh, like, nutrient-rich vitamin things. So, yeah, this is, I mean, this is, like, pa packed with things. Um, uh, this whole shelf is stuff that I'm going to have to go and... Once I'm feeling a little bit better, take the time to like separate and put where they need to go. But I got lots of salad things to do, like salad bar a lot this week. This is my veggie drawer. Mushrooms are supposedly supposed to be really healthy for you, so I'm going to cook with more mushrooms this week and learn more about them. Um, this is my fruit and veggie drawer. Um, some things are for my morning shakes. So I try to keep consistently having a morning shake every morning. This is, um, I have lots of cheese because my husband, I make Lunchables for him. So we have lots of lunch meat and cheese for me to make Lunchables for him. So this isn't my super healthy drawer, but that's more my husband's stuff. But I try to keep string cheese easy to grab, especially for the little ones. Um, I always have a gallon of water because our water thing doesn't work in our fridge yet. So water always available that's cold, um, kind of snacks that are easy to grab and go grab and go for myself. So I'll go over more of those as I'm making those this week, but this is what a stocked fridge looks like of healthy, healthy food. Good morning. Um, so we are on day three of being sick at our house. This is just Oh my goodness, it's been rough. Uh, I at least had enough energy to clean last night because um, I, re I really struggle with resting in a house that's like super messy. So I've done dishes or laundry, but at least like the main part of my house is clean because I needed it to be. But oh, this is just not just on our butts. But yeah, so here's, here's my pretty clean house. There's Porter. 
Yes, he has my phone. Yes, I'm letting him watch kids' shows. Yes, he's not bothering me during this time. All you of the, our mothers will understand. I... It's been a struggle, but today I had enough energy to make us some quinoa bowls. There's some quinoa with strawberries. We're super excited to try them. I might add a little bit of stevia. Um, we've never really had quinoa for breakfast, so we're excited to try it, but I hope that this sickness is not one that everyone will get because it's just been, it's just been rough, but... You know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful that I can take this time with my son and relax because we need it. We've it's just oh guys, I can't even I can't even tell you how interesting this has all been. <laughs> I'm really excited for it to be done. Oh, and one of our dogs got sick last night too. So on top of us all being sick, one of our dogs is sick. I don't know which one. Great. But another thing I'm grateful for on sick days are these comfy, comfy pants. I got them at Ross for seven dollars totally worth it but we're gonna have our healthy breakfast and enjoy enjoy it together and then we're gonna sit and we're gonna watch um Downton Abbey for the rest of the day so here is my salad bar so this is what I'm attempting for lunch every day I still have some things I want to add to it um but this is my salad bar so this will be my lunches throughout the week I already kind of pre cut everything and put things together so it was easy to grab so I just kind of have this one that's got like romaine lettuce and spinach and it's kind of a mix and then I cut up cucumbers red cabbage red onion beets garbanzo beans and um, mushrooms all of these things are supposed to be like super good for you. And then I also am going to throw in some pumpkin seeds because it's it is the time of the year. It is the time of the year. And then some ground flaxseed on top of it. Tomorrow, hopefully, maybe later tonight if I'm feeling up to it. Um, I'm going to make some red. Um, it's called red beet salad dressing. And so I have to make like red beet hummus with it. It's supposed to be really good. So it is. Yeah. Yeah, you want another Nana? So yeah, this is my salad for my lunches for this week. Here is my finished products. Oh, it looks so yummy. So it took me like 10 minutes to kind of pull out everything and get everything ready. Um, which is really easy and now it's all ready for the week. And this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. So if you're kind of tired of like plain old salads and having them every day, now you can have them super delicious with tons and tons of toppings. So I decided tonight, because I've been really, really bad at drinking water lately, so I decided tonight I was going to make um, a water mix. Sounds yummy. So I put cucumbers and lemons inside this jug of water. And I'm going to drink it tomorrow. Although I know my husband's going to steal part of it because he's been wanting some of this cucumber lemon water for a while. So I will let you know how it tastes.